Now for today's how-to, we're going to learn about crossing logs. Now we're going to do it in three different stages. First stage is a beginner, where we're just starting off sitting down and just getting across the log is our main goal. For our next step, we're going to pull the front up and get over the log nicely. And for our third step, we're going to kind of jump over the log. So let us, let us break that down for you now. If you just want to get over the log, that's your main mission. This is probably an easy way to do it. Line the log up directly in front of you. And when you're ready, push down the forks, pull back up on the handlebars, drop the clutch and give the throttle a little bit of a blip. This is going to get the front wheel up and onto the log. Now if you can stop here with long legs, that's good. Reposition yourself and set for another little blip over the log using the bike's momentum to get you over. If your legs are a bit short, I'd suggest doing this in one fluid motion. As you're coming across the log, the back wheel hits, get those feet down on the log and that can help you push the bike over and give you a little bit extra momentum. So now for a more intermediate and perhaps quicker approach, here we come up to the log. Just before the log, we compress the front forks, pull up on the bars and give the throttle a bit of a blip, making sure our front wheel gets at least as high as the log. Now as the back wheel comes across, get our weight back, pull the clutch in and allow the bike's momentum just to carry you across the log. Don't give it too much throttle. Here you can see the case of the motorcycle touches the log, but because the log isn't too big, the bike sails over easy. Now for a more advanced approach, and when you want to jump over the log and not case your frame rails, same thing here, push down the forks, pull back on the handlebars, give the throttle a little bit of a blip to get that front wheel up. Now what you want to do is you want to bounce the front wheel off the log. This is going to create a lot more lift in the bike, and get that front up and also help the back wheel come over the log instead of just rolling over. As soon as the back touches the log, I get my weight back straight away to help compensate the bike's pitching effect. Pull the clutch in, get off the gas, and you're away. Now all three of these techniques can be used at any time. Start with the beginner technique, move on from there and keep progressing as your skill level increases. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be riding over logs in no time. 